this is my cathode ray tube so the so this this is a wire that is connected to the oil burner ignition transformer so 10,000 volts come from here and go to each of these electrodes one here and one here and the in the oil burner ignition transformer takes in 120 volts from the variac using a variac I can safely adjust the voltage but right now it's at a zero and this is the vacuum pump to create a vacuum in this tube for the electrons to flow through so both the electrodes the, the wire the steel wire and the hose bar over here are connected to different terminals of the oil burner ignition transformer I'm just using a step down transformer here to step down 230 volts to 110 volts because this model is not from Singapore and yeah now let us test the circuit so I'm gonna switch on the step down transformer and now the whole circuit is receiving power so the voltage from here goes to the variac and currently the variac is set at zero volts so if I put the tester here there should be no glow which means that there is no current flowing now let me increase the voltage to 13 volts oh and let me turn on the variac As you can see, there's a red orange glow now, which indicates the presence of electric current. And same thing here. Let me just touch this electrode. This electrode is receiving current. And so is this one. As you can see. So both the electrodes are charged. But the voltage is quite low. When I put it back at zero, there is no current it doesn't glow so now we're sure that our circuit is complete so now I'm going to turn on the vacuum pump so to create a vacuum in that tube as you can see the vacuum pump has started And you should start sucking air out of the tube. When the vacuum is fully created, we will turn on the we will turn on the step down transformer, turn up the voltage here to create a cathode ray tube. But first it has to be reach its ultimate vacuum. And we will see the electrons flow through the tube. That looks so cool. So as you can see, a cathode ray tube has been created. And it looks really good. It flows a bright it flows a bright purple discharge as Electrons are flowing from one from the cathode to the anode. As there are, as there are traces of air remaining in the tube, we this when they are passed through high voltage, the air gets ionized and a plasma is created. And this purple discharge over here is actually called the plasma. That is, it's only electrons flowing from one end to another. 
It is also sort of like a mini particle accelerator. And this this tube this cathode ray can also get influenced by magnets. So this is my cathode ray tube. And now Now, I'm going to turn down the voltage. As you can see, it gets weaker and weaker till there's no flow at all. And if I turn it up again, it comes back. And that is the end of my experiment, my cathode ray tube.